Hawkins. Wake up. Wake up. Come and see this. Are you feeling sick or anything? There's a fella here got a cross with your name on it and today's date. You hear that? Come on now, you've had enough. That man's out to get you. Something important. Maybe he'll tell you. Looking for me? Are uh, you Sam Hawkins? Yeah, sure. What about it? <laughs> it's you I was looking for. about a little wager, like a hundred dollars? All right, Ross, I'll bet on the kid. Here's your hundred dollars. Can't beat you at any game. 
Come on, dear. Ma'am? <clears throat> the rent? But before you go, we have to find a date to settle our accounts. Naturally. Anytime you like. Perhaps we can get it over with this evening if you're planning to be at home. All right, Rod. I'll be waiting for you. Get out. That brother of yours never loses a bet, does he? What do you charge for making a cross? One dollar. Then make me one. And the date? Today. What about the name? Howard Ross. Ah. So you can have it for free in that case. This covers half of the mortgage and the interest. You get the final payment next year. You'd be surprised to know who I saw today. Django. Mm. Mm. Pretty. Extremely pretty. I hope you'll be able to keep up with your payments, Ross. Ma'am? How revolting. Try and forget him. You don't think he really meant that bit about Django, do you? Not unless it was one of his nightmares. Don't work too late. Figuring out how rich you are, Howard. You. You wasn't joking. Django? Glad to see you. So was your friend, Sam Hawkins. Yeah. I heard about that. I want to tell you something, Django. Nothing. Don't say nothing. No, listen, Django. Let me explain. It wasn't the way you think. I, I didn't do anything. Django. Django. Where are you? Listen, Django.
I'm here, Howard. Wait a minute! Please listen. I'll explain it all. Listen. You must listen. Don't go away, Django. Don't you listen to me? It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. I tell you, innocent. I'm over here, Howard. I'm waiting for you. Come, Ross Howard. You're dead. You're dead. Leave me alone, Django. You're dead. And when was this? The same evening, Mr. Murdoch. It must have been just, uh, just a little while after you left. It was just like it happened to Hawkins. There was a cross with his name on it and the date. But it was him, after all. All right, thanks. $5,000. That's to pay Mrs. Howard for the herd. But maybe Widow Howard doesn't want to sell her cattle, Major, sir. <laughs> you 
Don't worry, William. She'll sell all right. Now that her husband's been killed, the ranch will be too much for her. You won't have to pay more than $5 a head. Here, Brett. Go find me 20 men who aren't afraid of using their guns. Hmm. Oh, and Brett. Bring them all to Desert City as soon as possible. I'll join you there. All right, Mr. Murdoch. What are you doing? Why aren't you in bed? With him. You got any complaints? That brother of yours is crazy. Crazy. I don't know why I agreed to marry him. You know perfectly well why you married him, my dear. Because you're a greedy little tramp who's ready to do anything with his money in it. And don't forget that my brother and I come from one of the best families in the whole of this country. That's true. And I can hardly wait for the moment when everyone finds out what you and your brother are really like. That reminds me of the rest of our bargain. In return for marrying that idiot, you agreed to give me a cash payment. She wants us to make her a higher bid because she says she has to think about it. Oh, you're looking pretty tonight. No, not my champagne. It's imported from the East for a very dear friend. That's for me, Eric. How long does the widow want to think? Well, I hope it'll be as long as possible. <laughs> well, I guess we can get in a couple of more hands, huh? Jesus. <laughs> hey, look what I brought for you, Angel. Oh, okay. oh, I could eat you. Careful, have a heart. And a bottle of champagne. Oh, all right, dear. Why don't you open it while I go and change? All right. But don't be too long. Thanks. Real thoughtful of you to provide a nice cool drink. Might if I. Ain't you drinking? This ain't no use to you. Would a Howard is sold to her. You don't have to worry. I'll leave you half of the money. And the other half? Tell your boss that, that I'll bring it along tomorrow. Uh, wait a minute, stranger, please. Tell me, who are you, anyway? A devil from hell. 
You're lucky you won't ever see me again. Hold it, stranger. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Now turn around. Seems we just heard a mighty funny story about you, stranger. Yeah, mighty funny. Seems you like tearing up dollars, and you done it with some money of his. You mean this? Better hand that right back, stranger. Don't try anything. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it back quietly. I already told you, William, what I'll do with the rest of the money. I said I'm gonna deliver it. What's up, Britt? Why are these washing? Here's a thousand bucks on account, Roland. I want you and your men to do a little job, and I want it done good. There's a thousand per head, Roland. I'll be waiting for you tomorrow at Desert City. Well, fellas, did you hear that? There's a thousand dollars each waiting for us.
snake. What a gentleman he is. Sure, he paid me the money he owed me. Then he left me alone with these five hired killers. Hey, just a minute! The way Murdoch cleared out of here, you'd think the devil was after him. These coyotes stole all my money. To while away the time. Hey! Django, I gotta get my money! Wait a minute! This money is mine! I almost suffocated. I would have, too, if you'd been a few minutes later. You're his wife, aren't you? Luke Murdoch's, right? Murdoch, that is. I reckon that's taught you some manners. <laughs> Come on. That fellow's looking for trouble. Look here, Sheriff. You certainly have to do something. You sure do. Our wives are afraid to go out alone, even in daylight. He's right, Sheriff. This town's being taken over by a bunch of hired killers and gunmen. Those fellas don't behave because they ain't afraid enough to do, Sheriff. And besides, they all got the support of a the man they came to work for, Murdoch. He says he needs protection. He says he's afraid of being murdered. That's what we have a sheriff for. He can't take the law in his own hands, just because he's the richest man in the territory. As mayor of this here town, I think it's your duty to get rid of these outlaws. Or we'll give someone else your job. If I was a younger man, I'd sure teach them manners. Get rid of him. No smart remarks. What did your brother say? <laughs> but Mr. Luke, you know what he said. I want to know who it was killed that fellow, Mr. Murdoch. Sherry, did you say something? You know what I said, Murdoch. And you're gonna answer me. Because here in Desert City, I represent law and order. Did you hear that? That's you sure do. Why don't you leave us alone? Clear out of town. Yeah. Hurry with that rag. Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you can help him, go on. How did you get away from my men? Your men, huh? <laughs> They're dead, all of them. Leave us alone. Mm. I look after you. Well, Desert City is still about four hours' ride. I promised Britt we would get there as soon as we possibly could. Is it a bank? Don't you get it through your heads? This time it's honest work. Mm, honest work? Then why call on us? Come on, us. Let's go. Uh, I heard right that there was a trap closing. Maybe we found our dinner. Come on! Hey, we ain't got time for that. Fools. Watch a step. There may be others. There it is. Whatever it was got away. All right, let's go. We've got to be moving. Well, why can't we look for it, huh? Whatever it was lost a lot of blood, I reckon. November 17th. But that's tomorrow. If I get my hands on the fellow who did this. We have to find him, Brett. Could have been any one of your enemies, Mr. Murdoch. You've got plenty. No one asks your opinion. Just find him. But how will I recognize him, huh? I reckon if you ever face to face the two of you, you'll know he's your man. 
Those men you hired, is everybody here? The ones that haven't arrived yet. They'll be here as soon as possible. Fine. Sure ain't a very friendly town, Whiskey. this. Whiskey's all right, though. Uh, it ought to be for what it costs. That's because he makes it himself. Come on, your hand. Come on, you fellas. Mr. Murdoch's got trouble. A practical joker. Last practical joker we had here got himself tarred and feathered. Then it looks like we can count on having a little fun. Who is he? I don't know. Where do we find him? I don't know nothing. Only that he's been making wooden crosses with names and dates on them, like it was some kind of grave. All right, let's go. Search all the houses, the stores, and the stables. Anywhere you think he could be hiding. All right, let's go. Hey, you stranger. Can you manage a pistol, huh? Yeah. How would you like to make a thousand? No. Why not? If you don't mind, I'd like to finish the game. Hmm. Come on, you two. Finish the game. These ain't ships, they're just plain shavings. He didn't make the cross here, that's for certain. That's very lucky for you, mister. Pack your stuff and get out of here. Go oh, I. This is my home. Get going. <laughs> you got one hour to get out of town. Yeah. No! No! Not those! Not those! You gotta get out of town. I'll get out! Huh? I'll get out! Yes! No! You ain't going to a party. You don't need all that stuff. We just want you out of the way for a couple of days. Get moving. Come on. Get going. You ain't thinking of arguing, are you? Clay, don't. It's only for a few days. Go on. Get in.
why are you making everyone leave town? What's the point? It'll be easier to run them down. Do you think he'd recognize it? If he's the one who was at your ranch, of course I would. But you're making a mistake, you know. You expect him to fall into a clumsy trap. I think he'll manage to disappoint you. We'll see. At present, I have 20 men with me. And there are more riding in later. I'm afraid he hasn't a chance. We've come too far from town. We won't find anyone here. Let's go back. Hey, there's a house. Maybe we were in for real trouble. That's what I think. I'm not afraid. You know, you shouldn't think so hard. <laughs> the only thing I ever think about is getting enough of this here stuff. Men are covering the whole town. If he's here, he won't get away. You can be sure of that, Mr. Murdoch. Sure of it? But so far, he's done whatever he wanted to. Those men you hired to protect me can't even look after themselves. Make sure you keep your eyes open, Brett. What if he has an accomplice? Brett. There'll be a reward for the man who catches him. But why is he chasing you? Hmm? The great murder, running away from a mysterious shadow. Maybe you ought to leave here. A contract is a contract. Besides, I don't want to miss the best part of this here show. Alita, where does this one go? Let me see. You find out that with a bit of patience, all the pieces fall into place. And that's the end of the game.
What is it? I think I hear something. You're starting to make me nervous. the fellas with the Mexican. He appeared like that, out of nowhere. Whereabouts you dig up that bottle of whiskey anyway? I ain't seen any for months. Back at the farmhouse. You ain't gonna drink it by yourself. I ain't gonna drink a drop of it. And if you want any, ask them Yankees. They'll give us plenty if we let them through. <laughs> That'll be the day. Jango, you ruin your eyes reading like that. Hey, look at my patrol found. Hey, must be almost six months since I tasted whiskey. How about me and you knocking back some of this? I'd sure like to, Jango. Only some of the boys think that we should give it to the officers. The officers? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can accuse us of not being generous. Come on. Sir, Major Murdoch? That's funny, where are they? And what's happened to the lieutenant? Looks like they've all gone. Deserted. Left us. I don't understand. Why would they do that? Hey, what do you think? Now, who's on watch? Collins. Collins! He was on duty, I think. But where the devil is he? Hey, Collins! That's Major Murdoch's knife! Then they're traitors. But why? Why? We'd better warn the other men. <gasps> Evans! Evans! Answer me, Evans! We're under attack!
Suppose someone lives. Don't worry, Lieutenant Hawkins. There won't be any survivors. I'm over here. Everyone else thinks you're some kind of ghost or phantom. But I know you're a real man. What if you find out if the others are right? <laughs> I'll take a chance. Who's in the house? There's only Luke. Apart from him, we're alone. All the men are out searching the town. Aren't you a little scared? No, I'm not scared of you. I'll show you where the money is if you help me get away. I told you I ain't interested in money, thanks. You can't buy anything with hate. Major Murdoch. <laughs> Over 13 years it's taken me to find you. Major Murdoch. To deliver this to you, this whiskey. Do you recall a soldier called Evans? A brave soldier. They're all brave soldiers in our regiment. Yep, all brave boys. They believed in obeying their officers. In putting down all they had into fighting for their country. And they died happy because they never knew the truth. That they'd been deserted, sold out. That their own officers betrayed them. That they stood by and watched the killing. They never found out the truth. They died thinking it was for honor and loyalty. They didn't know that you and your friends had sold them to the enemy like a herd of cattle. 
Well, now you're gonna pay, Murdoch. You're gonna die slowly. You're gonna die a thousand deaths like your men. And I'm gonna watch you die. Slowly. 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 Have a good look through the livery stables there. And don't let them get you by surprise. He's going to keep us running around here the whole darn night. Do you really believe there's anything in this story? I sure do. And I don't like it. If it weren't for all he promised, I'd sure like to get a good look at this story. I'm tired of just sitting around. My brother's always been good to me, and I want to help him now. Then just try to keep out of the way. You think I'm really too darn stupid to do anything, don't you? But I'm not. I ain't crazy. I can help just like the others. I've been thinking about all this, and I've got a plan I think will work. Oh, that's very interesting. And what is your plan? I was wondering about what he's really like. And if we couldn't offer him money to clear out. You don't understand, Luke. It's no use trying. Of course it is. That isn't his game. Then we'll make it his game. It just depends on the size of the stakes. It's just a trick.
think no man living could ever refuse all that money. I'm going to take this over to the church and leave it there. You tell Django about it. Make him go, Alida. Tell him he has to leave here. Alone. Don't be stupid, Luke. He doesn't want me. Take it easy next time, will you? That was one of ours. Greed is a sin, a deadly sin. Evening, Mrs. Murdoch. Evening, ma'am. I know what's to cause all these goings on. I don't on. believe it's just one man. I don't figure. Keeps on, I'm gonna clear out of this here town. We're safe enough if we all stick together. Don't you think so, stranger? Well, that's your opinion. He won't get away with us. Hey, Jack, over here. He tricked him like a bunch of kids. What do we do now, Brett? Take the rest of the men and turn this town inside out. But find him, Frank. And I want him kept alive, you understand? Okay.
thank goodness. You can't go on with this. They're bound to get you sooner or later. Listen, Luke wants to pay you and let us alone. Take the money and go. Please do it. But I thought that's what you wanted. Not now. It wouldn't mean anything to me alone. You should know better than to trust a woman. You devil, Luke. <laughs> I'll give my brother your gun. He'll be very glad to get it. He's afraid of you. Everyone will be jealous of me, won't they? <laughs> You're clever, Luke. A smart fella. I bet that everyone else thinks they're better than you are. But it's not true. You're smarter than all of those guys your brother has hired. Smarter than all of them put together. They think they're clever, but you're the one I'm really afraid of. And I'm right to be afraid of you, Luke. You fooled me so easily. That's enough. Shut up! And don't look at me. I don't like your face. Run away, not! It's not supernatural. He's flesh and blood. This is his gun. Look, this is blood. His blood. His blood, do you understand? Quick, hurry! Hey, everybody! Quick! Come here! Hurry! I hit him! I hit him! He's injured! He isn't a ghost! Look, here's his blood! I hit him, I tell you! I hit him! Look, his blood. Here it is on my hand. Look, everyone, he's injured. Look, this is blood. Well, what are you waiting for? Start searching. <laughs> Find him now that I've injured him. There's nothing to be afraid of. He's no ghost. Let's go. Come on. Rod. Go on. Rod. Come on. This is his blood, Rod. Rod, and I took his pistol away. And I disarmed him all by myself, Rod. Wasn't that clever of me, Rod, wasn't it, huh? He must be near here. Get some torches and search the whole village. But be quick. Get moving. Don't forget to look under the wagon. All right. And if I find a ghost, I'll give him to you.
you see anything? No. Come on. Hey, Dick, do you think this fellow really exists? I don't know what to think now. I think they're all crazy. Anyhow, it's Murdoch's problem. I just don't want to get killed like those other guys. You and me neither, friend. It ain't worth it. What say we talk to the others? Why not? Let's try. If they feel the same, we can all clear out. Sure. Anyhow, there ain't no one in here. starting to get frightened. I don't Tell know how to get them under control anymore. Hey, Brick! We are leaving. You all accepted the money that I offered you. That was the bargain. You ain't leaving now, is that clear? This trash is all yours. You'll be sorry you did that. No, it doesn't matter. If all you men want to leave here, you're free to do so. Muchas gracias, Senor Murdoch. You're not going anywhere. Gunfighters. Why, you're more like sheep, you are. Get down off them horses. I promise you, try to leave. And it'll be your last move on Earth. Probably that was just what he wanted us to do. We'd better wait for the dawn now. You and the men tidy up this mess, Brad. Come on, boys, let's get to work.
The men are all stationed around the house, Mr. Murdoch. He must be somewhere. Don't worry, we'll find him in the morning. It'll soon be dawn. I have to go to the church. Sorry, Mr. Luke. You can't go outside. Your brother's order. Oh, well. I suppose it can wait. Yes, Mr. Luke. <laughs> Try and speak now if you can. <laughs> this time you've lost the game. <laughs> It's all over for you. <laughs> you can't get away now. <laughs> I've been looking forward for a long time to this moment. <laughs> no one can save you now. Nobody! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, must be patient. <laughs> It takes time to die. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
sorry, boss. Your kid brother hit me over the head and went out to the church. He was looking for Django. Come on, men. Hey, Luke! You want me? Your day, Murdoch. It is my day. I have to correct a mistake that was made 13 years ago. Somehow you survived. Do it if you can, Murdoch.
Django! Django! Where are you, Django? No, please wait. Hey, look where that got. Let me go along with you. We'll be rich forever. We won't live forever. But... Hey! Don't leave me alone, Django. You can't. Just a minute. Django! Django! 